Okay. You want to see me? Yeah, did the men who threatened you and the kids today, did they say anything about Jason? Yes. You covered up for him. I just want this whole thing to be over with. Jason has just been acquitted. I wanted him to go back to his life. What, you want to be with him? We'll never be with Jason. As for us, it's up to you. Yeah, so much has gone wrong. Yeah, well, you've lost your trust in me. I do know how that feels. And I know that you are angry and upset, and you do have every right to be. Just... Then tell me. What do we have worth fighting for? We're married. We have two kids. We should try to make this work. Well, you know, you're right. I am angry. And that's not a good situation for any of us. Especially the kids. So I, I will respect and understand whatever decision you make. Just know that it takes time to get past things like this and to regain trust. It can happen. But there are limits to what a person can handle. You just have to know whether you've reached your limit. I don't want to give up on us, Elizabeth. Not yet. Experienced DA signed off on Miss Howard's plea bargain. I didn't agree to it. Just let it go. Man. No, no, this is a little thing called the lawsuit. You see, Miss Howard committed a crime and she needs to pay for it. I'm going for the maximum sentence. But I barely scraped that police cruiser. No one was hurt. This is your second hit and run, Miss Howard. You're not getting off with a slap on the wrist. I know you're used to that, but you have to be taught a lesson. So you can hurt her to get to me? Is that what you're doing? Whatever do you mean? Sir? Well, you wouldn't show up here if it was just a fender bender. Well, look, I, look, I understand that you have police officers in your back pocket. I mean, you get away with whatever you want. Right? You're untouchable. But that doesn't go for the people who are naive enough to associate with you. And if they don't know any better, then they're going to be the ones to suffer. Starting with your friend Kate. It's not going to happen, Oh, Chris. really? What are you going to do Just to stop? please, Rick, be reasonable. I am being reasonable, Miss Howard, believe me. And when you're sitting in jail, and your reputation, as well as your career, is disintegrating, and the media-feeding frenzy is turning you into a national joke, you just remember? You can thank him for it. dangerous than your brother. Forget the cuffs, okay? We have to get out. I almost Come got on. it. Wait. So impulsive and yet so predictable. My wife has nothing to do with this. Let her go. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Now instead of one hostage to torture Jerry with a half two, and since he is clearly fond of Carly, it will be twice as entertaining when he watches you die together. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. On the next General Hospital. Are you ready for your big debut? Actually, um, change plans. I do believe that I can give you what you want. I can't know you anymore. 
Elizabeth and her children were threatened again. Find out who's responsible. Now get out of town and stay out.